Hey there everyone, Kurt Singh here with a Master League video. It's been a bit. I actually did this video uh, shortly after Necrozma. I just haven't had a chance to edit it and put it together. So let's jump right into it here. Necrozma is absolutely amazing. So I've got it paired with Hoho -Ho and Dialga. Seem to work really well. Any of you that have watched a lot of my videos know that I really like Ho Ho and Dialga. So here you can see Tranitar comes in. Uh, I do stay in. I should have got that Sacred Fire off and something glitched. I didn't get it off. Um, that's fine though. Outside of the fact that I let them farm up, uh, I can bring in Dialga and fairly safely just take whatever here. Um, I believe it would be either a Stone Edge or a Brutal Swing, possibly a Crunch. It was the Crunch, and I'd get the defense. So that's not ideal. But this Iron Head will be super effective. The Steel Typing on the Rock uh, is super effective. So basically here, I'm wanting to take out the Tranitar because the Crunch is super effective against the Necrozma. So I do shield that up, and then they switch out. I'm a little bit slow here uh, switching, but they've got a Katana, and I bring in my Necrozma here, and they have Night Slash, so that does half health. I'm able to reach a Dark Pulse though, and even Dark Pulse actually hits quite hard. So they do respect that and shield up. They're gonna get to another move here, and what do I do? They've got, I think I want the farm. I want the farm on my Dalga. I didn't realize that I was, or I didn't remember that I was quite that low. <clears throat> so <laughs> very, very close there. But I do resist the grass type move that that thing, it's fast move, razor leaf or whatever it is. Good first game there. Ho-Ho uh, -ho into Kyogre. I do have two steel types, so I'm good to switch out there and draw out the potential counter for either of my steels. They do answer with uh, Garatina, and we're going to respect the first move here in case it's the Shadow Sneak. They go with Ancient Power, so I feel like I'm fairly safe now not shield, because normally if you have Ancient Power, uh, you'll have Dragon Claw, and if they had Shadow Sneak, they would have thrown that right away. Dark Pulses, if they land, are going to do a lot of damage. So they do shield up both Dark Pulse. Um, and I do have Dialga in the back as well. So they go for the Dragon Claw, which is not very effective. I survived that easily. I can take another Dragon Claw here, and I think I'll reach the Dark Pulse, which will take out the Garatina, I believe. Uh, like I said, it does hit quite hard. It does take out the Garatina. So now they're down shields. And see, they bring in Kyogre now thinking, oh, okay, well, they've got the Ho-Ho. So we got that counter, right? But I've got Dalga in the back, which uh, takes less damage from Kyogre. The only thing they could do is throw a Blizzard, and that would uh, definitely mess me up. So we've got Dalga in the back. I could have... I could have messed around and stayed in and gone for a, a Draco and then switched out. Or I could have even potentially stayed in and uh, got a lot closer to a move and then ducked out. And <laughs> I, pretty, I was not expecting a Thunder there. So well played by my opponent there. Uh, here I think I do want to shield up. I know they have Thunder but likely Draco. No, it's Iron Head. So borderline there, if they've got a move ready, it's going to be tough, but I do get to the Draco meter, which should take out the Kyogre quite easily. And that does, so good game there. Right into the next one here. Palkia lead, definitely not ideal for my Ho Ho. Again though, I do have two good answers for it in the back. So I found what worked really well was to switch into the Necrozma, and then if this lands, um, 
Oh wait, I can't. I've already switched. What games were was I playing where that happened? Anyway, I was gonna say switch right away into. Oh, it's if I land with the ho ho. Never mind. Okay, so across my integer Hosba, they shield up my dark pulse. They're farming away. They are definitely had a dark pulse there. I think that I'm just gonna let this go because I can farm up and it's an outrage. So here I can farm up on my Ho-Ho, doing super effective damage with the incinerates. And I think I wanna shield this. I decide to let it go, interesting. So I let the outrage go. It is, oh, you know what? I let it go because I know that they've got the Pelkey in the back. So I want to save my shields for my uh, Dalga. They bring in Mamoswine. Do they expect of Sacred Fire? They do not. <clears throat> so that one shots. And now they bring in Palkia. Why am I shielding this? Aqua Tail. Oh, because I have a Brave Bird. Oh, yes, I have a Brave Bird. So I want to land the Brave Bird. And then I should be able to safely farm down with Dalga if this doesn't KO. So I do shield both Aqua Tails. And land the Brave Bird, and that's a good game. Kyogre is a Palkia uh, core breaker or answer. So Ho Ho into Melmetal, and this is trickily hard matchup for Ho Ho. Uh, you're doing super effective with the Incinerates, and you also would practically one shot Ooh. with Sacred Fire. However, they outpace to the rock slides, and rock slides would, I, I believe one would take you out. So shield the first one, catch the next move on Necrozma. It is another rock slide, so that was a really good catch. Now, they can go for a super power here, but uh, it's not really super effective. You can see there, I can easily live that. They bring in uh, Lugia. So I was originally going to go for the Sun Steel Strike, but I decided to save that, go for a, dog, a Dark Pulse. That connects. This will get them incredibly low if they let it go. So let's see here. They do, they do decide to shield that. And now they get to another move here. Should just be a Sky Attack, I think. I'm going to let this go. <clears throat> doesn't quite take me out, and I'm able to reach another Dark Pulse. So I got the shield, and I believe this pretty much takes it out. Yeah, it takes it out. So I took out their Lugia and got a shield with um, Necrozma there. Melmetal comes back in. I know that they have superpower, so it's hard to want to switch, but I wanted to try to catch a Rock Slide because I felt like there's no way that they're going to throw a superpower. So I do manage to catch the rock slide. In the back, they have a Kyogre. So I'm happy that I have my Dialga out right now. I'm able to go straight for a Draco Meter. And I do believe this either very close to takes out or does take, it does take out. And then I need to try to drag him back down here. Superpower, gonna be superpower, but I saved the shield. Uh, in case they have two superpowers, I'm able to come in and incinerate, and then like if they had a rock slide or something like that, I could have shielded that. Ho Ho into Mewtwo, actually a very good matchup. Side Strike does do a lot, so I like to try to shield the first one, get off the Sacred Fire, which is going to debuff their attack, and then I'll I will let the next one go through. Typically, that's how I normally would play it. So shield that side strike and they get to it or they throw like just before you get to the sacred fire most of the time oh goodness so there i tried to catch horrible job on my part and now i'm going to eat a shot of all if i don't shield so i do decide to shield and it's just a side strike so that's unfortunate and they <clears throat> bring in dialogue now and i'm down shields so we're going to try for the big move here. 
uh, should be neutral against their steel typing. And even though it says it's not very effective, it does a big chunk of damage. So here, this should be Draco, I believe. Um, yeah, they Draco. Doesn't quite take me out, and I reach the Dark Falls. It's, an, it's almost unfortunate, uh, this set of five battles here. I think I actually did, like a lot more dominant or better ones as I learned how to play this team. Uh, this is a 5-0 set, but I did climb quite nicely with it while I was able to play it. Uh, Sunsteel Strike there gets their last shield. And see, this is where it's kind of tricky, right? Because Ho Ho is a really good answer. They, um, it's super effective, but a rock slide's gonna destroy me, right? So I go into Dialga, and I think they were expecting Ho Ho, so they switched right away. Mm. So that allowed me to uh, farm down the Mewtwo basically, and now they have to throw energy here, or I would get to another move, or I'd get to the Draco. So now they have debuffed their own attack. So I should be able to live a rock slide now. And I do. And one more incinerate and I'll get to the sacred fire. So that'll be a good game by my opponent there. A little probably miss slight misplay on their part. But that's a quick 5-0 set. Uh, feels good to be back. Got a new light. Uh, let me know in the comments if you like the angle. I can go up or down, angle it differently and stuff like that. Uh, broke my other one. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, as always, I do enjoy doing this and I look forward to doing more. Have a great day.